all right welcome to my channel everybody my name is little boy of hope i am platinum four peaked at platinum three player um just helping this video the purpose of this video is to help a friend out just started league but if it helps anyone else out great and if you guys feel like you guys want to watch one of my videos since i don't produce too much nowadays <clears throat> this is a video for you guys so what we're going to be covering today is Shaco Jungle. Um, it's going to be Ignite, Smite, and just a proper way to play Shaco Jungle. I would, I uh, theoretically would have done a Warwick Jungle, but he's more interested in Shaco. So <coughs> I'm just going to show you guys what I do in Shaco. It's not the best way to play Shaco. It's not the challenger way to Shaco. Um, but just a basic, super basic beginner guide to, to jungling and how it works. Um, especially when playing Shaco. Just making everything as easy as possible. We're gonna go over like how to clear camps, um, items to build, when to gank, when to farm uh, camps, and then when to prioritize lanes, what, which lanes to prioritize, which objectives to go for, when to go for Dragon, Baron, uh, Rift Hero, that sort of stuff. And then we're gonna go after that how you close the game and how you, you end the game. So. And then the first thing I forgot already is at 45 minute, at 45 second mark on Shaco, you want to put your first, your first box down. Every 50, 16 seconds you get a cooldown and you get another box. So by the time it hits the thing, uh, the the blue buff spawns, you should have at least three three boxes, maybe four. I don't really remember how Shaco works. <clears throat> Apologize if you guys can't hear me too well. I'm speaking into a webcam not a actual headset because my headset just broke but i'm gonna do my best to edit this so that you guys can understand and hear everything so now you can see we got three boxes out blue buff spawns and just dies immediately i might have to smite here in case these guys ks it bring them away so they don't steal it now all i'm gonna do I'm just gonna if you're very basic at the game if you're brand new this is the video for you. Uh, <clears throat> now I'm just gonna grab W Q uh, W E, and I'm just gonna do a very basic clear. I'm not trying to counter invade. I'm not trying to counter jungle. Keeping everything very simple, very easy. And with Shaco, every time you attack the back, you can even it even works on the monsters. Now when when you're when you're new to the game, you don't know the mechanic. But what you gotta do to save you a little bit more health is every time you attack, walk back. Attack, walk back. <clears throat> I'm gonna get the golems. This is gonna get me level 3. And you want level 3 before you gank, especially if you're a noob. Or you're new at the game. See how I attack the back first? I'm just gonna go ahead and smite this. So I don't take too much damage. You see how every time after I attack, I'm walking? <clears throat> That's something that not that all the, the newer players don't really do. But if you start doing this, you're gonna be a lot tankier, a lot more healthier, so you can gain a lot more people. <clears throat> so that's how you properly clear your camps. Looking at top is pushed in, mid is pushed in. I'm probably gonna take these uh, wolves and then take the scuttle if Lee Sin isn't there already. Lee Sin's stronger though, so I'm just gonna let him have it. Depending, depending on how it goes. We'll probably do a little skirmish and go see if it's worth it at all to even take it from Lee Sin. You gotta see how good the Lee Sin is first. <clears throat> so you never go to a losing lane. The reason why is because you're gonna die too. But if he's only 0-1, then it's okay. You can still head that direction. If he's like 0-3, 0-4, and the enemy has a 4 level lead or 2 level lead, that's when you wanna stay away. See how I'm critting every single time I'm hitting the back of the turtle? That's what you guys want to do. Okay, Talon's being aggressive. Diana's kind of weak, so that's okay. Can I gank uh, Garen? Okay, Garen's kind of pushed up, so anytime they're more than halfway, that's when you guys can gank. Now, Garen's moving back, so he's probably not going to die here. Oh, I should have gone in. Aatrox is stuck here. I think I can kill him if he comes back. <clears throat> Forgot to go over Shaco's abilities and how it really works, but that's because my friend already knows how to play him. 
sort of. But if you're a beginner, you wanna you wanna build the just finish the jungle item. Most pro shakos, I believe, <coughs> they just go Tiamat first. Um, but if you're new to the jungle or new to the game, just finish the the item first. Make it easier on yourself. Now the reason why I just ran straight again, straight top, is because this wave is pushing in. To keep it simple, Garen's gonna push past the halfway line and it's gonna be easier to gank him. I'm gonna take this right here. I'm gonna go gank Garen in a bit here. If there's a good opportunity for me to. See how Garen's pushed all the way up? Makes it easier. We have more space to kill him. So he can't run from us. I'll be up there just after this camp. I'm gonna try to see if I can kill Garen. He's kind of low. He's halfway. No guarantee he's gonna die, but we're gonna try to kill him. Okay, he flashed, so that's really good. He did ward here, so he knew that I was coming ahead of time. Now I'm gonna go straight down to Diana and see if I can do something. <coughs> Diana's playing kind of careful here. Let's see if we can kill her. I'm gonna wait till she goes for a minion, and when she goes for the minion, that's when I'm going in. We got the flash as well, so that's good. We're burning summoners, so it makes it easier for our, our team to uh, <clears throat> to make shit happen. Mm, I've already failed getting two lanes. Um, I got two two flashes, so they should be good by themselves. Um, generally, if you're a beginner, those are gonna be for sure kills because people are gonna have slower reactions. I'm talking about the beginners, I'm talking about like level 30 and below, or you just haven't been playing the game that long, sort of thing. Let's see if I can kill these guys here. Uh, it's not a good good time for me to gank bot lane though, I'm gonna go back mid. And they see me, Diana sees me because there's a turtle there, unfortunately. <clears throat> I'm gonna set up for my blue buff. Just get that going. The reason why I don't want to gank my bot lane is you can see my Kaisers and Nautilus flashes down. But also if you look at the enemies, okay now it's a good time to gank. Both enemies were low, or both enemies weren't low yet, but now they are so. I'm gonna go for the, sh for the, for the pike here. Pike is going in for a pole. I'm gonna see if I can, can gank pike here. He's got an escape. See if I can get my team's help. I'm just waiting for my team before I go in. There we go, we got the ash. I'm gonna ignite. There we go, I didn't even need to ignite. <clears throat> That's pretty much how it is. I tried to go for Pike. Pike is very mobile though, he, can, he has a dash so he can run away. Um, ash doesn't have that so unfortunately I slowed her. Nautilus hit his hook. And That's also a good, a, a good indicator of uh, a when to gank, which lane to gank as well. Like. <clears throat> Talon doesn't have any CC, so it's kind of hard to gank him. Because um, he doesn't have any slow, pretty much. However, Nalus has a hook and a stun, a snare, and a slow. So Nalus is very good to gank. So if you base your, your ganks off of <coughs> everything uh, like your, your allies do, you know how to gank better. So now let's see. <clears throat> I'm just going to go to my other jungle. If Diana hops in, I'll hop in, but she's not. <clears throat> Probably gonna go for... Nope. So they're just super even up there. There's just nothing good to gank right now. Which is okay. I gotta not... I gotta gank a lot, but I gotta not fall behind at the same time. Now I'm just gonna back up, get some items. Now because I know that I just ganked Ash. Her summoner is down. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go down bot and kill Ash again. Cause you can see Garen's full HP and he's pushed against halfway so I'm not gonna gank him. If they're across that halfway line that's when you wanna gank them. Cause that makes them gankable. <clears throat> now as a jungler on my first back I always grab the oracle lens. What this does is pretty much when you press the, the number 4 <clears throat> you activate it. And you can actually see if the enemy has vision on you or not. If you've been warded or not sort of thing. So I'm gonna try to head that back down bot, see if they warded and see if I can kill them. Uh, they've Kaiser doesn't have heal though, so I'm gonna be aware of that. I just press tab and everything pops up. 
That's more of a pro tip, but I'm trying to focus on beginner tips. On when to gank. As for your item build, it's very easy. Just download this app called Blitz.gg and you're good to go. So yeah, I can see there's a ward there. <coughs> I'm gonna wait till these guys want to... I'm gonna wait till they go for that... Um... Oh shit, I'm coming. I'm a little late though. I'm a little late to the party. There we go. Smite the Ash here. I'm not even gonna ignite her. There we go. <clears throat> so I kind of messed up because I didn't think they were gonna fight. And they started fighting without me. So that was my fault. Now what I'm gonna do is I don't know where Lee Sin is. I'm just gonna go do the dragon. And there's no wards here, so. Here we go. Start killing this dragon. Yo, does my bone not attack the dragon? Okay, it does. That's good. <clears throat> I'm gonna put this here for my escape. I'm not even gonna smite it. <coughs> I'm gonna back up, get my item. You can see Garen's past the halfway mark here. So now I'm gonna try to gank him. See the pike, I'm gonna grab some boots, grab some attack speed. Because that's all the gold I have for. <clears throat> Now, if you don't, if you're ever unsure what to build, you just go to Blitz.gg. It's an app that looks like this. It tells you exactly what to build. So you're building Dust Blade and then Sanguine Blade Second or Third. Oh, so that's really your build path. I was gonna go top, but now you can see he's pushed against halfway. Aatrox is low HP too, so there's a high chance if I go there, I'm not gonna get the kill. And if I do get the kill, then Lee Sin's gonna kill me. Now I'm waiting for Talon because he's coming from behind. <clears throat> I'm just gonna go in. Talon's gonna get the jump here, I might actually die here. Because Diana's OP. I'll keep following them for... for s <clears throat> See if we can slow her down. <coughs> and that's where she fucked up. She shouldn't have turned, that's why I kept following her. If she was to turn, Talon was for sure dead. Just because Diana has uh, more, more items, more OP than the Talon. She's already 1-0. So... I really did tell him each favor there by staying. Leeson got Rift Hero and got the top. Okay. I'll explain things a little bit more. And I'll probably add him some voiceovers as well. I know while I'm playing the game, it's a little bit confusing. But I'll make sure to edit it so everything's like more understandable. <clears throat> now, prioritizing lanes, like what lanes you want to gank and stuff, like I already went over that a little bit. But the more, I'll go over that too. I'll just voice it over. If I have to. Um, right now there's not anything to do. I'm just gonna go farm. Oh, they just started fighting. As I went in, they just started fighting. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna sneak behind this bush so that Ash doesn't see me. And Ash is gonna chase right here. <clears throat> so this is good. They don't see me. I'm still... Oh, he pulled my box. Now he knows that I'm here. <clears throat> he should know that I'm here now. <coughs> so this is good. Pike is coming. Ash is there. Do they know that I'm here? Okay, I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna go in deep. Do they know? I'm gonna try and go in. There we go. Clean. Because <clears throat> I had that ward, so I know that they didn't know. But I, Pike pulled my, my Q, my the other thing, so he might have known. There's a small chance he might have known I was there. Diana's full HP, so I can try to kill her. I think I can kill her. Actually, I think that's what I'm going to do. He sends there as well. I'm going to just take the crab. Better safe than sorry. Now, pro tip. <clears throat> while the Scuttle Crab is done or feared like that, you're actually doing more damage to it. So just keep that in mind if you're playing anyone else. I'm going to see if I can kill Diana here. I don't know if I can do it, though. There we go. There we go. If she fights me, I'm just gonna ulti. And she didn't hear her Q, so she's dead here. <clears throat> Ajax is pinning me. <clears throat> uh, can't do everything, I'm sorry. I can only do so much. 
Aatrox has been losing from the get-go and he I've never been able to gank him once. So that's why I just not I just haven't gone top. I've tried to go top, but <clears throat> Yeah, I've tried to go top, but <clears throat> just couldn't because he didn't prep it well enough for me. <clears throat> now Garen's kinda OP, but let's we'll see if we can kill him. See if we can kill him. Yeah, he's too OP. Too tanky. <clears throat> too tanky. For no reason. But that's Garen. Garen's OP like that. <clears throat> Alright. Not looking good at all. Everyone's feeding and inting, but that's okay. We'll try to do the best we can do. <clears throat> the lane with the most hope right now, none of these lanes have any hope. I can try bot, you know, but bot's not really good too. I've been making good plays happen, that's all. <clears throat> they have a pink ward. I was going to steal the dragon, but it's going to be hard to now. It's going to be really hard for me to steal the dragon. Actually, what I can do is I can kill Ash. So here we go. I'm going to go kill Ash. Because they're at the dragon. There we go. Now I'm going to see if I can go steal the dragon. I might die here though. <clears throat> they have me warded here. Okay, they got the dragon already. So I'm just going to jump out. Let's see, first item, I'm gonna finish this dust play, so I'm gonna be a lot more OP. Sell this, get my boots. <clears throat> Generally, I just get items in whatever order they come. Like, <clears throat> it's better to probably finish your dust blade first, but I don't really care, I just finish whatever I can. Because I didn't have enough gold for dust blade. Looks like it's gonna be a 1v9 game though, so this is gonna be a good example. If you're a beginner, I don't expect you to be able to do this, but what you need to learn is how to clear your camps properly and your item build. Those are the most two important. Now I'm going to see if I can do this. I might actually die here. So I don't know if I can do this. I might die, but I'm going to try. I'm going to go for the squishiest one, which is Lee Sin. And now I'm dead. <clears throat> well, it was a good try. I killed one. I thought I was going to be able to kill Lee Sin and then get out. But Garen was like super strong, so that was super unfortunate there. <clears throat> I don't have enough items for for my best blade yet. Okay. <coughs> so we're kind of losing right now. The only person that really doing anything is me. Super unfortunate, but that's okay. <clears throat> Went to gank farm. Um, Pretty much like champions that aren't as mobile, like Ash is really good to gank. Pretty much I've done a really good job the whole game. The biggest thing is just that my team's not doing much. <clears throat> but that's okay. We'll do our best. That's all we can do. If your team's just generally feeding, so you can just farm. I'm kind of teaching like how to how to just basic basic jungle and build. Here. I just press 4, this activates, I can see. See if I can kill the pike here or the ash. Nope, I messed up. Here we go, maybe we can kill the ash. She should die. She should die. Oh, damn. I had to throw my knife one more time. Pike is here now, okay. <clears throat> see what we can make happen. My team's gonna dive. Oh, they're going for the ash. They're aiming for the ash. <clears throat> Alright. While they're they're just busy with each other, I'm just gonna grab this. Because Lee Sin's dead now. So tip for the rip shield, you always wanna aim for the back when the eye opens. <clears throat> I saw Garen, he should have come here, but he's not coming, so I don't know why. I'm gonna do this just in case so I don't take too much damage. Now, I might die for this, but fuck it. 
necessary. Okay, this is good. There you go. And Diana went in on my clone. <coughs> so that was warded. I didn't see that. Preset some uh, some things here because I know the blue buff's coming up. And the reason I know is that there's a golden hourglass. And that's how you know if your buffs are coming up. Or any new buffs are. I'm super fat right now, so I can pretty much one-shot anybody. I don't know about this fight though. Um, I'm gonna wait for Kaiser and then I'll go in. Yep, she's dead. I'm gonna wait for Kaiser and then I'll go in. There's even a good opportunity. I have to wait till one of them gets spread out or my ulti comes up. Okay, my ulti's up now, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this. Wow, I got- whoa, that was weird. <clears throat> I tried to press R, but my R didn't come up, and then I just died. And it's not like I got silence either, unless I did. Maybe I got silence, I don't know. That was the worst case scenario that just happened right there. Worst case scenario is that I die like that, damn. <clears throat> I was gonna be able to like kill at least two of them and get away. Cause I was gonna uh, use my combo wombo, but wombo combo, but... Didn't turn out that way, because they hesitated. And they warded, which was smart. But I thought one of them was going to trip on my Shaco box. So that's why I, st I stood still. Ooh, nice. I might be able to get a kill here. <clears throat> They're going to Dragon, so let's see if we can do that too. Everyone's dead right now, so it should be just Lee Sin over at Dragon, but we'll double check. I'm just going to activate this early so that they don't see me. And if they do see me, I know that they see me. I'm gonna do this. And like I said, Lisa's the only one here, so I'm gonna kill him. There we go. Now we get this dragon. The reason why I know Lisa is the only one there is because everyone else just is super low or just died. <clears throat> so that's kind of like a pro tip. Um, pro, pro thing. I don't expect you to, to know that earlier. But <clears throat> he must have seen me. He must have seen me. Must have. <coughs> Gotta get rid of these pink orbs. Like I was saying, I just saw that everybody, like two people were dead. Like Garen and Lisa, uh, Garen and Diana were both dead. <coughs> and then Ash and Pike were mid and they were both low. So I knew that they wanted Dragon and the only person who can do Dragon was Lisa. So it's kind of like simple math, really. Once you get used to the game, simple math. It, my team is just speeding back and forth. <coughs> I can't even farm for one second. Super unfortunate. Everybody just keeps dying. Let's see if I can kill Diana quicker. Looks like she's a noob, so she's gonna back in that bush. Oh, she didn't back. Oh, I see her. She didn't ward either. In five seconds, I can kill Diana. Okay. Just gonna run away here. Oh damn, he's getting good. He knows. Oh damn, the Ash got me there too. Oh fuck yeah, I'm so lucky. I'm so lucky my knight killed him before I died. That was like all luck. It was like all luck, but also at the same time, it's a little bit of skill because it never would have happened that way if I wasn't so fed because I was level 14. <clears throat> like if I was level 10, I would have died there for sure. So now how you close the games and win the game, like I just pretty much, we just pretty much went over all the, the early game. <clears throat> see here. Oh, we got our three items for OP. The hardest part about like League of Legends is that there's so much to learn. But as a beginner, don't even worry about it so much. Because like if you're playing with your buddies or people who are good at the game, you'll do just fine at this stage. As long as you do the first part fine, then you'll be you're, like you're pretty much set. 
The only thing is that these people don't really know what they're doing. Uh, but I'll go ahead and try to teach you guys how to close the game and end the game as best as possible. Like everyone right here is just ending right now. There's a thing that shouldn't really be happening. Damn. <clears throat> Let's see if I can kill the Ashes. There we go, and I'm probably dead here. Maybe. There we go. Luckily, I got got, I got out of there just in time. <clears throat> really doing my best to, to make shit happen here. But everybody's just running in and dying right away. So we might actually not win this game, but if I play it well enough, we might win the game. I don't know. Honestly, don't know. Like, if my best chance, my best chance of winning is, like, split pushing. But at the same time, like, my team is dying so fast that I can't do anything. Like, I can't even farm. Because what happens if everyone dies and I'm split pushing is they just take the base. Right now I can 1v1 anybody. Even Garen. But <clears> to <throat> 1v1 Garen, it might be a pretty long fight. And by that time, my team's probably dead. Let's see if I can take this turret quick here. Oh shit, let me just hop out of here really quickly. There we go, I'm lucky. I got away safely. There's a Diana here, I might die. <clears throat> Diana didn't notice me, fortunately. And what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna keep split pushing. <clears throat> oh, he killed it immediately. I might actually die here because his movement speed's so fast. Now, let's see, Lee Sun's chasing here is... He's still gonna die? There we go, nice. Because Garen stopped chasing with him. So now because I did that split push play and everybody's chasing me, because they're noobs, um, my team was actually able to pull something off by themselves, which is kind of nice. I, I know the dragon is coming up and dragon is important, especially this season, but expect, because it's this team, I'm just gonna go for the turrets. I'm going to keep getting as many turrets as I can, because when I do this... Oh shit, he's fucking OP. I'm just going to go the other direction. Jeez. Garen is insane right now. Absolutely insane. Oh shit. There we go, there we go. I'm just going to see if I can help them. I want Garen to do too much damage, you know? Alright, I'm out. I'm out, I'm out of mana. I'm out, he's... The ways you, sh you should use Shaco's W's is just like that. You see how Garen's trying to chase them, but the W helps him survive for just a little bit longer? <clears throat> Can't help you, bro. I'm out of mana. This is an OP item. Now, this is what the pros usually rush right away because they clear camps a lot faster. I just didn't do it because I didn't think I needed to. I'm coming. I'm... <coughs> I'll see if we can actually kill this guy right here. Damn. That's where you fucked up, buddy. Ah. <clears throat> now, Shaco is actually a super hard champion to play, so if you're actually a beginner, I don't recommend you to play Shaco. I'm only doing this for my friend. Because he likes playing Shaco. <clears throat> See how Aatrox is flaming earlier because he lost? But well, he's not flaming anymore. Just ignore the flamers. Garen's right. <clears throat> That's why Shaco's OP, but he's also extremely hard to play. Like, he dies so easy if you don't know how to uh, use his kit. <clears throat> but he's so good. Ooh. Ooh, he got me. Damn, if only my clone would have been there a little bit sooner. Just a little bit sooner. <clears throat> <clears throat> 
So pretty much to recap how you properly clear your camps, you got to walk back and forth. You got to auto a move, that way you don't take damage. So you auto, you move back, you auto, you move back. That does two things for you. It keeps your health high because <clears throat> the, the minion will reset attacks, the, the monster. And then your abilities will have more time to come off cooldown as well. <coughs> so you can use your abilities more often. Um, and then that's how you properly clear your camps. Now there's a whole variety of ways you can do that. But just keep it basic. Keep it simple. If you're going, uh, you just do the blue buff. If you start a blue buff, you're doing, you always want to start where your bot, bot laners are, your ADC and support. Because there's just more people to leash for you that way. Ooh, damn, we go again. Oh damn, he actually got the real me, dude. That's so fucking insane. Should we get two kills here? That's perfect. That's so insane. He actually killed me, the real me. <clears throat> okay, that was my fault. I should not try to fight Garen because he's fucking OP as hell. <clears throat> I'm doing my best here. I'm doing my best here. <clears throat> and then as for items to build, just download the blitz.gg, that website right there, just download that. It doesn't take up too much of your PC or laptop, just do that. It's going to optimize your build for you. Whatever items you should build this game, it looks like this. And it's going to automatically do it for you. Let me see if I can do it. It's just like that. And I'll go over it a little bit more the second time, uh, the next time I die. <clears throat> see if we can get Baron here somehow. Kaiza's doing decent, so Kaiza's kind of helping out. She's doing some damage. So that's nice. <coughs> I'm gonna try to keep split pushing and, and get bot, bot in here. I got Tiamat now, so it's gonna be easier to split push. Oh, the next dragon that comes out is gonna be the nice one too. We're gonna get the dragon soul. Okay. Let me see if I can just keep splitting on these guys. Clear these waves quick. Fernal's up in 42 seconds. My team's actually doing good. Double kill, so that helps out a lot. <clears throat> so what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna keep going mid and if Ash comes, I should be able to solo her. But should be a good game. Now Garen's gonna be... Well, Garen's dead too, so pretty much we win. <clears throat> they can get Dragon if they want. She went for the wrong one. There we go. That's game right there. However, I'm not gonna end it because I'm not one to end games. I like the games to last as long as possible. Just for fun. I'd rather they surrender than to end the game. Ooh. Oh damn, I fucked up. <clears throat> now last item I'm gonna build um, is Infinity. Now usually you don't get Usually if you're good at the game, you don't finish this item until the end. But it's like the only item I could buy at the time, so I just bought it. Now I need 2100 gold, I just need another 400 gold for the IE. Now we get the Dragon Soul. <clears throat> so that's good. So pretty much the way the game works, <clears throat> if you're new to the game. Uh, pretty much the first three dragons that pop out, the first two dragons are going to pop out. The third dragon that pops out, uh, it, the land is going to change. So Inferno is going to break down walls, so you have more terrain. Um, Ocean is going to create more grass patches, so more places to hide. Windrake is going to create like an uh, air area in the jungle, so that you can run away faster. And then, uh, which one did I forget? Mountain. Mountain creates rocks and, and more objectives. More rocks, so you're, there's more things, the more terrain pretty much. <clears throat> And the third dragon is always going to be the same. So the third dragon for us was uh, Inferno. <clears throat> so we just get Infernos over and over and over again. And you can just highlight it to see what each dragon does. 
Now, why a dragon's important? <clears throat> see here. Oh fuck, dude, I might actually die here to the Garen. Okay. <clears throat> now, why why a uh, dragon is important? Um, the reason why a dragon is important is because once you have four dragons, elder dragon spawns, and <clears throat> once elder dragon spawns. If you are the one who gets Elder Dragon, you're pretty much OP, dude. Like, you win the game pretty much automatically. Because you want to force fights and start fighting with Elder. What happens is once you get them to, like, 20 HP or 20, under 20% 20 HP or 25 or some shit, then they die automatically to the to the Elder Dragon. There's just an execute mechanic that works on it. Now this is why Shaco's OP as well. Just look at this. Look at this damage. Baron Solo, baby. I don't recommend you to Baron Solo if you're new to the game, but... You can, once you have full items. <clears throat> the clone tanks it and you do everything else. Another reason why it's so easy for me is also because I have four Infernals. See that? My first attack does uh, the explosive damage. Boom. See that? 910 explosive damage. That's pretty much the dragon soul. Damaging abilities and attacks creating an explosion around the target dealing 90 plus 105. So, sort of small dish. Once you're full item, you just buy Elixir of Wrath. You can kill people a lot easier. Shaco's an assassin, so it's super easy for him to kill people. But at the same time, if you do really bad on Shaco, you're going to die really fast. <clears throat> this game's pretty much a wrap right now because we got four dragons. Look at that. How easy it is to clear the waves. Now your 2 is just an extra auto attack. Just press 2 again and that's going to happen. Now we're going to try to see if we can pick off some people and, and kill some people. <coughs> I'm just going to run away. I'm scared to an OP of shit. Let's see if I can kill the pike here. Damn, I really wanted to kill the pike, but he went in this. <clears throat> I'm gonna try to see if I can do. I see Garen. He doesn't see me. Garen has red buff. Let's see if I can kill Pike. I see them. I see Aatrox. I see Ash. I'm gonna try to see if I can kill Ash. Let's play this guy. And just escape from this guy. And I'm gonna play around with gear here just to make him mad. <clears throat> oh shit, dude, I'm boosted. Oh shit, I'm fucking boosted. Fuck. <clears throat> I was gonna like queue over the wall, but I was like, wait, hold on a minute. Dude, both these walls are broken down, so he can just walk around and kill me if he has more movement speed. And then uh, I hit. I decided to use a bomb and then jump. But I was expecting to jump this way and him to jump this way, but I miscalculated and we jumped in the same direction. And then he just uh, <clears throat> he just killed me with a spin. So this is super OP. Once we get this outer dragon, I'll show you guys how it works. I'm actually happy the game turned out the way it did. It's gonna be a long video though, so it's 30 min 38 minutes. I'm gonna try to shorten as much as possible for you guys. <clears throat> but pretty much in this whole game, we've, we've gone over everything. We've gone over how to clear the camps properly so you don't die, you have enough HP to gank. Items to build, build path so that you can be OP. So on Shago, what this item does is you do it so you, you get you get more like... It's just easier, you know, when you have the jungle item. It makes it easier for you to not die in your jungle. You life seal against monsters. It's a lot easier. You go for the dust blade sucking because that's what makes Shago OP. You can pretty much start to one-shot people now. You queue in, you auto them from behind. You're passive and your uh, dust blade activates. So you get bonus damage from dust blade, you get bonus damage from your passive, and then after that you just press E and then they pretty much die. <clears throat> now we see there's a pike here. Now Elder Dragon's coming up soon, which is good. We're just gonna go ahead and do Elder. Now I'm just gonna consist them, contest them anyways. Um, they can try to fight us, they can try to steal it. <clears throat> I'm gonna do my best to just try not to make that happen. Try not to let him. See if I don't get outsmited by the Lee Sin. Now that was really good because Nautilus altered the Lee Sin so he couldn't come in. Now watch this. Watch this. Oh, you see that, dude? You guys see that? 
Oh my gosh, that was the Elder Dragon, guys. That was the power of the Elder Dragon. It's so OP. Oh, look at this, look at this. Look, oh. Oh my gosh, the Elder Dragon. So OP. Oh my gosh. Fuck. Oh. Look at this, look at this dip, Garen. He's gonna you know. Oh. Elder Dragon, baby. See that? That was pretty much a 1v9, but my team picked it up at the end. They did they were they were a little bit useful at the end. But now we win. <clears throat> so GG guys! This is your first time here. This is Little Boy Pool. Uh plan to make more videos like this just for beginners. Um only platinum three, not the best player. But I do do super well against like silvers, golds, platinums. Uh I think I could be diamond possibly, higher ranking. Um but I just don't play the game enough. The reason why. I mean, I play the game a lot whenever I can, but I just don't play consistently. I don't get to play the game consistently. But anyways, that's going to be the end of the video. Um, I can go over a few more things, just end game here with you guys. I'm going to go ahead and honor Kaiza because she actually did a lot of damage and helped out. And then I'll just give you guys a small, rough overview. Now, this game was done in Silver Elo. Um, and it was a normal draft, so that makes it easier <clears throat> um, than Ranked. But we still did really well. You can see we did a 1v9. Um, our team picked up at the end and was able to help. But let's see here. Um, yeah, so overall, rough. Um, just to recap everything, how to properly clear camps, you walk back and forth. And this is right here. My notes are right here. Properly clear camps, you walk back and forth. So you keep, you do two things. You keep your HP high and you don't die. And then you do, you uh, let abilities CD so you can use it again and your second thing for blitz uh, item build just use blitz.gg automatically does your items and runes for you so you don't have to worry about it now I can show you guys how that works as well um, pretty much this is blitz.gg it shows you what rank everybody is so you can see Kaiza was G4 but she fed S3 S4 S2 S4 now that's actually average a lot of people average around that area um, and then Leeson was unranked so Silver 3 Silver 3 Shaco, uh, G2 Aatrox, which also fed the, Gar the S4 Garen. Surprisingly, um, G2 is a lot better than S2. I don't know how Aatrox lost because Lee Sin wasn't that helpful either in the top lane, but he did lose. But Garen is S tier this season. I think Aatrox also S tier, but Garen's like tier 1 and then uh, Aatrox is S tier. Um, but Aatrox just wasn't that good compared to Garen. Mechanic wise, I guess. Uh, and then what else? Yeah, so you can see the ranks. This is what Blitz.gg is. You can see everything you did well. MVP, KP, God, Damage King. Go down the bads. I had a low vision score. I had a lot of gold at once, which you're not supposed to do. Uh, died back-to-back -back deaths, which is you're not supposed to do. I died at 29 minutes, 30 minutes, and 32 minutes. So <clears throat> that's bad. I don't use my wards a lot, so I had two stacks. Uh, so that's something. Um, but you should, Typically, I don't use my wards because I know where everyone is. If it's more like, I don't know where people are, then I use my wards more often. Like spot out enemy jungler and everything. I got solo killed by Garen at 37 minutes, that was bad. Um, and then I lost in early game CS. So my Lee Sin had more CS than me um, in the early game. But that's because Lee Sin ganked a lot, or he, he farmed, only farming, which is really bad. You're not supposed to do that on Lee Sin. You're supposed to gank and gank and gank because Lee Sin falls off. And Shaco is supposed to be the same. It's supposed to gank a lot early and scale into the late game. That way you can delete people earlier into the game. Have a lot more fun. Um, and then <coughs> let's see what else this, this does. So you can like check out the tier list. If you don't know who you want to play, you can see all the most OP champions. This is just a whole overview of all the most OP champions right now currently in this patch. 52% win rate, 51% win rate. You can play. If you're playing top lane, you don't know who to play. You always want to play tier 1. That's my, my opinion. Um, but the more simple the champ, the easier, and if you feel like you want to get good at the game, then feel free to play any skilled mechanic, skilled mechanic champions like Riven. But uh, moral of the story, if you play someone easy, you're going to get a lot better, a lot faster. Um, and then you can see just other champions. And now this is only in Platinum Plus, so you can do like Challenger, you can do like Bronze. So now like the best to carry in Bronze, you can see the champions, the statistics. Um, I'm going to go back to Platinum because that's what I am. And then let's see one more thing. It does show you match history as well. So you can click on your name. You'll see your match history. You can see all the goods you've done. You can see pretty much match history. Um, what was I trying to show you guys? 
I was trying to show you guys this. So like when you go into a game and say I'm playing Shaco, right? Just click on Shaco. This is what's going to pop up while you're in game. And it's going to be um, specifically for that game. So <coughs> you can see um, Dust Blade. You finish your jungle item, your boots, and then you build a Dust Blade. Which is what I did that past game. Dark Harvest. And then you, it just automatically does all this for you. So if you guys are new at the game, you guys don't have anything to worry about at all. So this is the best thing for you guys. Is Blitz.gg, it's going to be the best for you guys, especially if you guys are brand new to the game. It just automatically does everything, but for that to work, you have to auto-import. Um, and it shows you guys when you guys go into the game, you guys just, there's a button over here somewhere or somewhere on the screen. It says automatically import builds in runes, and just do that and you'll be set. And then these are the rest of the items you can build. Um, there are other items you can build. Um, if you have friends, they can help you out. If you have other questions, just feel free to leave a comment below. Um, as well, and I can help you guys out with that as well. And you can add a certain matchup as well, so like you can say Shaco versus Lee Sin. And now what it'll actually do is it'll put Lee Sin in the game, and it'll say it'll keep out. He can finish his first camp extremely early. Look for an invade or gank. If jungling, ward entrances, not just the buff. If laning, play safer at level two and three to mitigate his snowball. Because if Lee Sin's actually a really good player, he can actually snowball the game really hard, and all that means is he can pretty much have like five kills by like five minutes or three minutes if the least sense really good or you can just uh put your make your jungler level two while he's level six you know it's just it depends on how good you are there's a huge skill drop skill gap there's a lot of things to learn but like i was saying the most important things to learn is how to how to properly clear camps how to build your items this is what blitz.gg does it makes your items for you it makes your runes for you it does your summoner spells for you so you have exactly everything set and then uh, when to gank and farm, I can teach you guys a little bit more about that as well. Um, when to gank and farm, you want to look at your allies. And so what does your allies have stuns or snares or, you know, just a fear? You know, just something like that that will like immobilize the enemy. So let's go back to my match history here and I'll explain to you guys a little bit more of what happened. <clears throat> um... Actually, you know what? I can I can do this, but I can also talk a little bit more. I'll, I'll try to make edit the video so it's not so long as well. But just to go over in case, um, when the gank and farm allies, when your when your team has a stun like Nautilus, um, when your team has a lot of damage like the Talon and they're at half HP, then you want to go. But Talon doesn't have any stun, and if Diana's full HP, uh, Talon and I both don't have any stuns, so we're not gonna be able to kill Diana unless she's incredibly um, unaware of her map and she dies easily. Um, when to gank, when to farm, allies, stun, snare, fear, and then if you're enemies, you want to make sure they're immobile. So just kind of like slow champions who don't have any dashes. So like Diana doesn't have a dash, but she has like a, a stun. She has, not a stun, but it's like a, it's like a shield that brings everyone together. I believe it's still her E unless they just recently changed her. But she has an ability where she has a barrier making her tankier, harder to kill. Um, but she is an easy target if she passes the halfway line. Ash is also easy target if she passes halfway line as well. Garen's also very easy target, but Aatrox performed really poorly in the top lane, so we couldn't do anything. Aatrox has three knockups, one pullback, but he was unable to utilize any of that efficiently. And Aatrox was always, always pushing Garen to his turret, so really nothing I could have done to help Aatrox out. <clears throat> um, Talon didn't do good at all. He wasn't able to trade effectively with his mid laner, so I wasn't able to help him a lot because every time I was around mid lane, um, Diana was always full HP, so it was never good to gank. <coughs> now, Balin actually probably had the winning lane. Um, they went pretty even. I mean, they probably got... They were actually getting... Um, I, think she, I think they were actually getting stomped before I stopped by, but um, I was able to bait a lot of them um, into like dying, like the Ash and the Pike, and that's actually what got me really strong. And then that's what allowed me to kill like Lee Sin, Diana, and then in the end, uh, Garen just fell off because... Garen does that. Garen doesn't scale. Um, and Dark Harvest helps Shaco scale really well. <clears throat> pretty much what Dark Harvest is, and I'll go over that too, is um, pretty much every time you collect a, uh, uh, what do you call it, a soul. Every time you harvest a soul, um, you get more AD, AP sort of thing. <clears throat> Whatever your champion works on more. So I had more AD um, than I had, than I needed. It was just extra damage that builds over time from killing people over and over and over again. Um, and let's move on to the next step. Um, enemies are immobile, and then when they're pushed past halfway, uh, 
and they're closer to ally turret that's when you can really gank them um, so these are going to be the biggest three and then if their HP is 50% or below <clears throat> this is so these are four huge indicators and there's going to be way more more in indicators out there like once you get better at the game you know but this is just a beginner's guide once more I'm going to focus basically on the beginning guide for jungling because I think jungling is the easiest role if you're new to the game after you watch this video it's going to be so much easier for you to jungle um, you might still lose games I'm not saying you're not going to lose games your mechanics are not going to be as good as mine, but that's okay. You guys are going to get better at it, and then it's, everything's going to be fine after that. You just got to learn this first. Watch the video, learn how to do all five steps, and you'll be good to go. Because steps one to three is not really any skills. Uh, steps four is not really any skills either. It's a little bit more knowledge. Once you get to step five, that's when you got to combine knowledge and skills. So that's going to be harder to do. And you guys can see that, like, you guys can actually trust me. I know you guys don't know who I am, but you can see, like, this is my little brother's account. I went 21-6, 21-7 Arvara, 16-1 on Zeraf, 24-2 on Lucian, 15-0 on Garen, 19-2 on Echo, and 12-1 on Kale. Um, this is my little brother, actually, not my, myself, but <clears throat> I've been playing on his account today because one of my buddies uh, is new to the game. Um, my bro brother's account is Silver 3, which is pretty average. It's not bad at all. Um, if you're maybe diamond or challenger, or platinum or even high gold, have a nasty attitude about the game, then maybe you might consider it low. But silver three is pretty average. Um, anyways, back to the point. Um, you can see this works really well. You guys can trust my tips and advice because I've got a really good KDA on on while I'm smurfing. Um, even my regular account, I do really well as well. Show you guys, little boy of hope. This is the reason why this is just credibility. More to more to you can see I went 20 and 3 in a ranked game on a Kha'Zix. That was a normal game on Kha'Zix. Um 15-5 as Z mid. 13-1 as Z mid. Uh 6 2 and 10 assists on uh, Lucian ADC. 10 and 2, 14 and 0 as Warwick Jungle. So these are just the exact tips I'm using. Nothing more, nothing less, just a very basic guide and when to gank, when not to gank, how to close out. What to prioritize, when to prioritize, that sort of stuff. And then 21 and 0 on, on Zed, but unfortunately I lost. Uh, 21, uh, 12 and 3 on on uh, Echo Jungle. Uh, unfortunately, 1 3 on the Nunu Jungle because I accidentally took Ignite over Smite. Uh, it was an unfortunate situation. Um, but, anyways, aside from that, let's get back to the video. Um, <clears throat> prioritizing lanes and objectives. So, like I said, dragons are OP. You need four dragons. With that, you get the Dragon Soul. And that's when you're going to get really OP. Each dragon does its own thing. It doesn't really matter, in my opinion, which dragon you get. You just have to get four dragons and you pretty much win the game. And if you get other dragon, all more, all, all two. You, you guys saw my my hype. And if you, I think I'm going to put this at the beginning of the video. So you guys are going to see it. When I get the other dragon this game, it's going to be OP, guys. I'm gonna, you're going to hear the hype in my voice. It's going to be OP. Elder dragon is OP. You guys need elder dragon. Um, but... What I've been noticing is I've been stomping so hard that I don't even need Elder Dragon. But it's kind of like Elder Dragon really helps close the game. Because it really helps end the game. It just makes it easier. Because like once your like enemy is 20% HP or lower, it just kills them automatically. <coughs> so, Elder Dragon OP. Um, prioritizing lanes, you want to focus on the winning lanes. So whatever lane is winning, you focus on that one. None of my lanes were winning at the time. So, unfortunately, I just kept going bot because Ash was immobile, they had a Nautilus, easy kill, Diana was super hard to kill, and, um, like, Diana was super hard to kill because she was always full HP and she was super map aware, so every time I came to her lane, she knew I was there. Uh, Garen was really good at the game, he was our 3-0, and Aatrox was 0-3, so not really much we can do for the Aatrox, um, because if I was to go out, I'd just die to Garen, as you guys see, saw, or are going to see in the game, I die a bunch of times to Garen. Because he's so OP. And then I go down bot and I kill Ash and Pike because, you know, Ash is immobile and bot lane is the weakest. Generally the weakest because bot lane, in the early game, bot lane are usually the weakest because they're squishier, they don't do as much damage. And the reason why they do that is because <clears throat> they scale harder into the late game. So it's going to be easier to kill the bot laners. Um, as long as you can watch out for the enemy abilities and know what to do. Um, but aside from that, we'll go on forwards to the next point. So prioritize your winning lane. <clears throat> Never go to a lane that's 0-2 <clears throat> or 0-3. 
Now, you can if they meet one of these requirements, you know? So, like, there's this lots of stun sneers, you do a lot of damage yourself, or if the enemy's immobile, or if the enemies push halfway to, towards your, their, your turret, your ally turret, you can go and gank him. Or if he's below 50% HP, then you can go and gank him. The only thing that happens when you do this is you risk getting ganked by the other counter ganked by the enemy juggler and you might die. <clears throat> or maybe your ally dies and then you die because the enemy is so OP. But you learn that by playing the game. <coughs> Oof. When you farm, you farm when everyone's feeding. Pretty much. <clears throat> or when the enemies push past halfway. Um, never go to lane. Uh, dragons are OP. Baron's not super important in my opinion, but if you need it, you can get it. Get Baron when three people are dead, like three enemies are dead. Or when you have a tank and lots of damage, you know, like D DPS, like an ADC that does a lot of damage. Like you saw when I, or as you're going to see, when I take the Baron, I had my clone tank for me, and then I, ha I myself did a shit ton of damage to Baron. That's when you know you can Baron, when everyone's dead. And make sure you sweep so they don't have vision on you. When I did Baron, they had vision on me, but that's because I didn't care. I could see their map, I knew where they were all at. And if one of them was to walk up, I can kill them immediately because I was so strong. I had all my items. <clears throat> um, winning lane, never go, dragons, Baron, turrets. So pretty much as for turrets, like you always want to take out... Let me see if I can get a map of the Summoner's Ref. That way I can show you guys. My computer's kind of laggy here. 2.45 p.m. Okay. Let me just see if I can do... <clears throat> low map. Oh, so this is the basic map of League of Legends. Just gonna enlarge it for us. <clears throat> and so now there's a turret here, here, and here. Say so this is your team. You want to, <clears throat> okay, I thought I was going to, damn it, give me the picture, give me the picture, okay, <clears throat> oh wow, are you serious right now, I just, okay, perfect, so, <clears throat> this is your team, these are the turrets, just pretend, say, you're jungle, right, <clears throat> um, and say, you were able to take bot turret first, after you take bot turret, you can either take mid or top risk, but don't take the second turret. If you try to go for the second turret, there's just a higher chance that you guys are all dying down there. But you can back up and you can reset and try to kill these two turrets. Whichever one is easiest to take, that's up to you to decide. You'll learn over time what is easiest, but take one at a time, one at a time. If you're strong enough, you can go there to there. But if you feel you're not strong enough or your team's not strong enough, you go one at a time. <clears throat> and then you can do the same thing one at a time. It doesn't matter what order, it just depends what is the easiest turret to take down at the time and that's how you go towards that if you guys are new and have more questions feel free to reach out to me on the comments below as well we're gonna keep moving on here <clears throat> how to close slash win the game now this is the hardest one out of all four steps <clears throat> the way you do this you gotta know enemies ability enemy champion enemy abilities you gotta know all five enemy abilities like I knew every single people's abilities like champions abilities so it wasn't hard for me to close and end the game <clears throat> it's hard when you don't know what they do because then they do it and then you just die you know but like i know diana her four abilities um her only lethal ability is her ultimate so if it's not up i'm not gonna die um pike is not that dangerous of a champion if he's alone so i don't worry too much about him he has a dash that stuns you he has an invisibility and he has a pull that pulls you, and then he has an execution for an ultimate. <clears throat> Ash has an ultimate that freezes you. Her W slows you. It's a wide range W, a volley of arrows. Her E gives her vision, and her Q just auto attacks. Speeds up her auto attacks, buffs her auto attacks. Uh, Garen's Q speeds him up and does a shit ton of damage. If it hits you, he just strikes you once with his blade, like a samurai. His W gives him a barrier. His E is a spin. His ultimate is an, is an execution. It rains down on you. <clears throat> Lee Sin has a, quite a few abilities, about six or seven of them. I'm not going to go over all of them, but you get the gist. I knew everybody's abilities, and that made the game easier for me because I knew their range. I knew what they could do, what they can't do, that sort of stuff. Um, and we can go over more if you have questions, but just to keep the video as short as possible, we're going to keep going. You need to know enemy abilities. You need to know your ally abilities. 
because if you don't, then you can't help them out either. But you can see I knew like the, the Nautilus had the stun, I can help him. He, his, he had a pull, he had a stun, a snare, he had an ultimate that stuns them and knocks them up into the air. He has a shield, he has a slow, so if Nautilus has a shit ton of abilities, that helps me out. Aatrox has three knockups and one dash and one pullback. Uh, Kaiza is all damage and um, Tam does a shit ton of damage. Shaco's uh, box stuns people, so it's just about abilities, abilities, abilities. You're not going to learn them all by studying. You can do the studying, it's probably going to help you, but it's just easier if you play and you have a friend. The best, play to, the best way to learn the game, especially if you're new, play with a friend, play with somebody you know and trust, and just have them ask you, you know, or just ask them, you know. If you're going against, like, your Shaco jungle, or you're going against, like, a Lee Sin jungle, just ask them, you know, just be like... What um what does Lee Sin do and what should I be aware of? And your friend will tell you, you know, just watch out for invades. Ward here, ward here, Lee Sin's gonna come from this direction if he's good and he's gonna try to take your camps and kill you in your jungle. So just play with a friend is the easiest way to learn and that's how you're gonna get step five down the, the easiest. When it comes to closing games, the dragons and the bands are gonna help a lot. <clears throat> Learning how to dive as well, there's just so many mechanics I can teach you guys. It's super hard to explain this last step. It's very situational. Every game is different. If you're super OP and you can handle yourself versus one or two champions, start split pushing. If you don't know what split pushing is, I can make another video that's going to be more more um, in depth too. But pretty much it's just split pushing your friend, your team's defending base, and you're just split pushing. Just like I was this game. You'll see this game too. If the, I don't know if this is going to be before or after. But you'll see. <coughs> <coughs> Oh shit, you'll see how I did split pushing. I had I did a variety of split pushing and team fighting just because it was easier. Um, just because the team didn't know what they were doing, the enemy team, so I played accordingly to whatever they did. <clears throat> and that's pretty much it for the video, guys. If you guys have other questions, champion guides, you want me to go through jungle guides, you have, the main point of the video uh, that I want everyone to get is just super basic super easy guide how to jungle jungle is the easiest role to play if you guys are new to the game um the other role that might be easy as well is support but it can be easy but it's gonna be easy on you but it's gonna be super hard on your adc um but if you play jungle you're not impacting anybody's gameplay you're impacting yourself if you die that's on you nobody's bothering you in the jungle if you're playing with like a friend who's diamond or platinum or gold you might get invaded other than that, if you're playing with the Smurf, you might get invaded and die a lot of times. But for the most part, <clears throat> um, you guys are going to do just fine in the jungle. You guys are not going to die a lot. You guys are going to be able to clear your jungles. When you guys get your abilities up, you guys are going to know how to use them and how to gank. That's the most important thing. And I think the reason why I did this video is because jungle is the easiest number one absolute role. If you're new to the game or if you just need some help, um, jungle is just the easiest role to play. But with that, um, thanks guys. Enjoy the video. Um, thank you for coming. You guys have a, a great rest of your day or night, whatever time zone it is when you guys are watching this. Uh, Little Boy of Hope is out. Peace. I wanna be